Longtime Wisconsin Congressman Jim Sensenbrenner announcing today that he will be retiring after serving the state for decades. Fox 6's Bill Miston joins us live now in studio with why the former state lawmaker turned U.S. representative is stepping down. Hey there, Steph. 21 terms in Congress, nine serving the Wisconsin 5th. Jim Sensenbrenner, one of the longest serving members of the House, but saying today he will not seek re-election, retiring at the end of his current term in 2021. I've worked hard for all my terms in Congress. I'm as enthusiastic about my job now as when I was first elected. And Jim Sensenbrenner's election to public office dates back more than 50 years. First elected to the state legislature in 1968. But Wednesday, the 76-year-old now serving in his 21st term, deciding this will be his last. In a statement Wednesday, Sensenbrenner, whose district makes up portions or all of six metro Milwaukee counties, saying, I think I'm leaving this district, our Republican Party, and most important, our country, in a better place than when I began my service. Outside Menominee Falls, his face and the name going with it didn't mean much. His congressional term having been part of, or in the center of, that was until impeachment. Even against the President of the United States. Huge political moments in U.S. history and ones of tragedy. Jim Sensenbrenner was ideologically a kind of a rock of Gibraltar. He didn't change, and I'm saying that as a compliment. Those moments in history being remembered by political experts and former colleagues in the state legislature, UWM professor Mordecai Lee. And I really learned a lot, and the thing I learned the most from Jim Sensenbrenner is something called the Sensenbrenner rule. Lee says Sensenbrenner's decision to retire is surprising, considering he likely would have won re-election. Lee points to his track record for holding open town halls to this day and remaining consistent on issues and being politically savvy. The Sensenbrenner rule is always be on the losing side of an emotional issue. But the people who lost appreciate your vote. And in his time in office, casting thousands of them. Tonight, Republican congressional colleagues from the state as well as the Wisconsin Republican Party calling Sensenbrenner's time in office a legacy and a legend in Wisconsin politics. It certainly will be the end of an era. Bill Miston reporting in our studio tonight. Thanks, Bill.